Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you how to create paper flowers. So here you have the five design flowers that I'm going to be using and the way that you can obtain these are if you go to image and you go to cartridge and then you just search flowers. And then a bunch of options will come out, different uh, cartridges with different types of flowers. We're going to select the flower shop. And here you can see a selection of flowers, some petals, some whole flowers, and some uh, the 3D ones that you can roll, which I showed how to do with felt. And you can also do it with cardstock. Um, so for the purpose of this video, I wanted to do whole flowers, which are these right here. Um, so I'm going to be selecting five of them just to show you how you can do different ones and we're going to select these two and then we're going to scroll down and then I'm going to select an additional three more. These over here and then once you have your images selected, you can just hit insert at the bottom right and then they come out like these. And then what you're going to do is that you're going to select one and then you're going to size it to whatever size you want the flower to be. So I'm going to do four inches. And then let me just close up here. Okay, so then what you do is you select action and you duplicate it and then you shrink it to fit inside the first petal or the first whole flower. Then you duplicate it again and you shrink it and you duplicate it again and you shrink it. And so I do this five times. You could do it as many times as you want, six, seven, eight, depending on how full you want the flower to be. But I find that five um, is really good. And then once you have them done, you select the whole image and then you select attach. And this just attaches the whole flower together so you can see how it would look. And now moving again to the next one, just gonna do this one more time, slow so you can see. I do four inches, you could do five, six, depending on how big you want it. And then you just start duplicating each of the flowers and you're shrinking each individual one that you're duplicating so it can make a whole flower. And then once you have it done, you can just select the whole image and then you select attach and then you move on to the other ones. All right, so let me remove these set of flowers so I can show you how to do these. So you're going to hit make it at the bottom right and but remember you attach the flowers so what you're going to have to do is detach them so select each of the flowers and hit detach so when you hit make it at the bottom right you can see of them individually placed on the mat which is what you want so once you have this here you can go ahead and hit continue and then just select your machine i'm using the maker And then you would select your material that let, let it just load here i have the card stack selected as my favorite but if you don't you will just go to all materials click that and then just search card stock and depending on what type of card stock you're using um either it be a heavy card stock or a light or medium select whichever one you're using and then that's it you go ahead and load your machine up uh, but before you do that just make sure to note the mat and see how your flowers are positioned so you don't waste paper. So I'm gonna be placing the cardstock down landscape position so it can um, have a whole, the flowers can be in one sheet as opposed to me having to use multiple sheets. Once your machine is done cutting the flowers, you can remove the cardstock and remove each of the flowers. Just keep in mind that the cardstock tends to be very delicate, so just do it slowly when you're doing this. Um, or if it makes it easier, you can flip over the mat and do it this way. I find that this is uh, the best way to do it. So here you have all the flowers cut out and you're going to also need a glue gun so just make sure you turn that on and while that heats up i'm just going to show you how you would have to arrange them so let's start with this one right here this pink one 
uh, we're gonna grab the biggest one and then you're gonna be placing um, that little flap underneath the next petal like so and you're gonna just put some glue at the bottom and then you're gonna do that for all the other ones just like this and then you're just gonna stack them up so i'm gonna show you this but i just wanted to kind of give you an overview of them all right so now my gun is heated and then all you do is you put a little bit of glue in this portion right here and then you attach the petal over it like this you just make sure it presses down evenly and that's it it's pretty simple easy and then now you do the same thing for the other ones All right, so I did all of them already, and now the next step is that you're gonna put a little glue around the circle here at the bottom of, well, on top of the flower. And then once you put, you don't need that much, just a little bit. And then once you put that down, you could go ahead and grab your next size of flower, and then you just press it down, just overlapping the the flower so as you can see the petals uh so it could look like a real flower you need to overlap them as opposed to putting it on top of each other and then that's it and you just keep doing that with each of the other sets And here you have the final five flowers that I did. Um, I like how they came out, they're so cute. And then as you can tell, there's a little hole here. So you can do anything with that, but I'm gonna show you what I did because I don't have anything else. I just used these circles that were left over from peeling off the flowers and I just pretty much clipped that out. And then I just placed that, I put a little glue and then I placed that in the middle. If I had any pearls or studs, I would use that, but I didn't. And I just think like this is really cute and nice. Um, so this is my second time doing flowers and I'm enjoying it. And I think I'm gonna do more videos like this. My first time doing flowers was the previous video that I did, uh, rolling flowers with felt. And um, this is my second time and I really love it. So I'm gonna keep doing this. And if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. I hope that you enjoy this video as much as I did. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will be back with more videos.